Hi, I'm Keith Kam and welcome to this week's edition of Headlines. Let's start with the highlights and I'm afraid it's not all happy news. First up, a refugee crisis is fast developing in the northwestern part of peninsular Malaysia. An ongoing human trafficking crackdown by Thailand has forced so far hundreds of migrants from Bangladesh and Myanmar to opt for boats. Now, these rickety boats are in the Bay of Bengal as Indonesian and Malaysian authorities refuse to accept them. Ships searching the southern Indian Ocean for MH370 have found something, but not the plane. They found what looks like a shipwreck with an anchor clearly visible. It's been more than 14 months since the plane vanished. Will we ever know what happened? Two earthquakes in Nepal within a space of 10 days. More than 8,000 are dead. Millions are affected. We have a sizable Nepalese community here. Show them some compassion. Show them some love. Donate generously to the relevant organisations. And now for our main story, the saga of one Malaysia development Berhad continues. This time with new players, Lembaga Tabong Haji, or the Pilgrims Fund Board, is one of them. Does this mean all roads lead to one MDB? Hmm? Okay, so now Lembaga Tabong Haji has been drawn into the fray rather unwillingly with the disclosure of confidential documents confirming the purchase of land within walking distance from KL's Golden Triangle. The Pilgrims Fund Board was set up in 1969 to help Muslim Malaysians fulfil one of the pillars of Islam and that is to perform the Hajj in Mecca. That's not a cheap feat. It also works in the same way that is similar to the Employees Provident Fund. It's a form of savings for the people. The money is collected and then it's invested. Returns are paid back to the contributors by way of dividends. And historically, we're talking around 6%, similar to EPF, like I said. So two of Tabong Haji's companies are also publicly listed on Bursa Malaysia. We're talking about TH Plantations, IT-based Theta Edge. Now, what brought TH into the limelight is the revelation of confidential documents indicating the purchase of these two pieces of land at the Tun Razak Exchange, prime real estate property in the heart of KL, owned by 1MDB, which everyone knows by now is heavily in debt and has bond repayments due within months to the tune of billions of dollars. The total cost of the two pieces of land, over 770 million ringgit. Plans for the land? One will see a 40-storey residential development, the other a 74-storey signature tower. So let's look at the fallout now. So the documents that appeared nearly in full highlighted the deal in great detail. The immediate reaction from Tabung Haji's chairman, Datuk Sri Abdul Aziz Rahim, via Twitter was a denial, which he then clarified was more of a clarification. Within hours, it was confirmed that indeed land was bought from 1MDB, but not two pieces, just one. The one where a 40-storey building will be constructed, and that too at a discount. The takeaway from this is that the documents that appeared on the benchmark blog, go check it out, another new player to the saga seems to be taken quite seriously by TH. So seriously that a police report was lodged which PDRM pledged to investigate under the Official Secrets Act. You know how when you have a scab and all you can do is just pick, pick, pick at it? Well, more things were brought out into the open. The links between the top people, the decision makers in Tabung Haji, they also sit on the board of 1MDB. Is this right? Dia tak boleh masuk campur lah dalam uh, tabung haji punya ni. Mesti telus lah uh, dalam apa saja yang dia orang buat uh, sebaik baiknya rakyat kena tahu. Dia tu tak ada masalah cuma sebab ilawan MDB tengah berhutang sekarang ni. Jadi and then ada person yang sama dalam MDB dengan tabung haji jadi ada conflict of interest lah kat situ. Tabung haji menjadi fokus lah sebab dia ni kan dia adalah sebagai macam pemegang amanah untuk orang-orang pergi orang pergi haji kan so tabung haji pemegang amanah trust the unraveling of this particular chapter of the 1MDB saga which now involves money intended for religious purposes has hit nerves and the hearts particularly of the rural populace suddenly those who did not care about the dealings of 1MDB and its intricacies want to know more popular singer Datu Siti Nurhaliza with her 1.7 million followers even chimed in calling the transaction shameful memalukan with all this controversy, what must Prime Minister and Finance Minister Datuk Sri Najib Razak do? 1MDB is, after all, his baby. He has instructed the Board of Tabong Haji to sell the land, bought at 188.5 million ringgit post discount, to avoid the issue being made into an even bigger controversy than it already is. Perception is already set. 1MDB is facing difficulty meeting its debt obligations. So is Tabong Haji's purchase of land from 1MDB, which it bought more than 40 times cheaper, a bailout? 
tidak ada sama sekali ini adalah bail out tak betul bail out tu tidak berlaku kerana kalau nak bail out 40 bilion ke 30 bilion ini kita beli tanah This is an ongoing story. More players are emerging or being pulled in. To date, apart from Tabung Haji, we have had Tycoon Ananda Krishnan, Tenaga National is buying over 1MDB's power plant, Syarikat Takaful Malaysia. Even the PM's brother, Dato Sri Nazir Razak, advises that the issue needs to be clarified properly. Uh, but the company has a board of directors uh, and management, uh, and they should come out uh, and uh, explain uh, to the satisfaction Uh, of uh, investors in the general public as to you know what the real situation is so now if you want to know more read up on the issue from credible sources get as wide a range of information you can get on 1MDB Tabung Haji etc and all the players of course listen to BFM 89.9 we'll sort you out with the latest sit back and watch how things unfold Thanks for watching this week's headlines. Tell us what you think of the show in the comments below. I'm Keith Kam, telling you to keep calm. Have a great weekend ahead and remember, the truth shall set you free.